Hi, people. Hope you're all doing all right. I thought it's tick season, so I thought I'd just come and have a chat about ticks because um, they're around, aren't they? Blooming things. I had to, using the correct tick removal tool, I had to remove one off of Zed's back yesterday. Um, now, though I'm loath to use chemicals on dogs, as everybody knows, I do use a uh, spot on, but I don't use one of these modern day ones. Sorry, I'm just having, just having coffee and biscuits because we're back from training. Um, I, I use Bob Martin Clear and it says, you know, they try to get you to buy it every month, but I find it works for at least four months. OK, um, applies to the back of the neck. Please don't put it near the base of the tail because your dog can lick down there. You want to put it only literally down the back of the neck so your dog cannot get at it. All right. But you all know that, don't you? I hope so. So anyway, yeah, found a tick. Now, eBay, Amazon, you can buy these little tools. OK, I'll show you. There's a big one and a small one. These are tick removers they're very small you can bung them in your pocket you have them all the time best thing to do is buy two packets they're very cheap because they're made from plastic the thing that's killing the planet plastic now you've got a small one here yeah that's for small ticks and what you do is you put the little groovy bit what if I, I wish i had something like a pin or something well anyway we use my nail which I broke, you put it round, you go into the skin, right, you go push down and you twist and then up, okay? So you, you put it round the head of the tick, push down into the skin, right, push down, twist, up, okay? I'm going to, the thumbnail will show you the mouth parts of a tick. They, they, they are just horrible creatures. Now, You've got to understand, ticks only feed four times in a, in their life cycle, okay? From when they're like um, a larval stage, if you like, yeah, tiny. They feed once to grow to the next stage, to a sort of juvenile. Then they feed again to grow to an adult. And then they feed again so that they can lay eggs or however they reproduce. So they only feed four times in their life. So, you know, and then you've got the bigger one here. Now, this is for obviously older ticks. This is why you've got two sizes, people, right? It's, it, it's you know, whoever designed these probably has made a damn fortune and it's really clever. So um, I'm trying to find it so you can see the um, difference in sizes. Yeah. So you can see quite clearly there the difference in sizes. And the same applies if it's a big tick. Zed only had a little one because it hadn't had, you know, as soon as it bit into it, it was like, oh, dead. But of course, you don't want to be leaving the head in there if you can avoid it. Look, if you do, you do, you know, the body will repel it, hopefully, over time. What I do is I remove the tick and I put some pseudocreme on. You know, if you want to use coconut oil, cold pressed organic coconut oil is anti inflammatory, antifungal, antiseptic, anti everything. Just, you know, so we don't get any kind of secondary infection, all right? I, I I can't recommend these enough. I mean, look, it's hit and miss what kind of colour you're going to get, okay? I mean, I've got yellow. I bought some for Stuart as well. Okay, so please, you know, you need to be feeling your dog all over. Put your hands into their fur. If, like I said, she's got a thick coat. You know, because when you brush them, you you know, you can kill the tick with a brush, but it, it's still got its mouth parts in there. Because what they do, because trust me, I've studied this and I've watched lots of nasty, because they're a member of the spider family, obviously, you all know that. Yeah, they've got eight legs, not six. It's not an insect, it's a spider. So it's a little blood-sucking spider. And, you know, they hang around on the tops of the grass and as your dog brushes past, it picks it up. And, and they creep along and they find some skin and then they, they've they got each side of their mouth, they've got these things and they pull the skin apart like this. And then they've got a tongue that comes out and it's like harpoons. So is the mouth part going, it's got barbs going backwards like that all the way down the tongue. And I'm going to find a picture and use it as a some thumbnail. And they stick that tongue in and that's why it's so hard to get them out because you're literally and that's why it makes a kind of pop as you pull it out is, is and you'll get a little raised bump is because you're actually having to cause quite a bit of damage by pulling it out please don't think 
by putting a cigarette to it or anything like that is going to get it off. You know, you put heat near the back end of a ticket, it'll just dive deeper. So, you know, there's a lot of myths out there about it. OK, tick tools, please. They're very cheap. You know, if you lose them, they are that cheap. I think that what they're 95 pence or something like that. They're really cheap. And that's a free P and P, um, uh, you know, and look. To be honest, look into the life cycle of a tick and, and, you know, I know it's a horrible subject, but with Lyme disease and everything else that ticks can cause, you know, I mean, you can get deterrents um, that you can spray on your dog. Uh, you know, garlic is in the right dose. OK, for dogs. I personally won't use it because it's still garlic to me as a member of the onion family. And even though I know it's safe to use because it the smell will build up over a couple of weeks and come through the coat of your dog lovely and it puts them off so but you know it's no, nothing's going to stop them all right so there you go so tick tools remember get the tool put it around the head push down turn up okay try and keep it all up and down yeah all right she's asleep sorry so that's why you've only got me today so stay on top of the ticks, okay? Um, rabbit ears, just another quick word on rabbit ears. They are excellent for dogs with sensitive stomachs. Plus they are, so they claim, a natural dewormer, okay? But that is the ones with fur on only, okay? So yeah, they are available on eBay. So if they're on eBay, they're definitely av available on Amazon. Um just make sure they are naturally air dried so that, you know, please don't feed pig ears, people. You, everybody Google what pork carries, okay? Pork carries a lot of diseases, and unless it's cooked, I wouldn't feed it to said, I just wouldn't. But that's me, and that's it for today. Take care, people. Bye.